Hey, welcome all of our spirit enthusiasts. No matter what it is, whiskey, bourbon, rye, Canadian whiskey, anything that's proofed from 80 proof to 150 proof or whatever. Welcome to our deck, Deck Nine on the Rocks. I'm Homer. I'm Amy. Tonight we're going to discuss something that I think causes some arguments. I don't some, know about some arguments. Disagreements. Definitely a back and forth about how you should enjoy your spirits. Especially in the bourbon world. Yes. Especially in the bourbon world. The I don't know world. vodka and them, they care. I don't know. We're not in that world, so I would have no idea. Yeah. I bet tequila might. Very possible. Because there is a lot of different tequilas. But I don't know if there's a big proof change in those, too. Yeah. Of course. But before we knock this topic out and get into the discussion of high proofs, low proofs, all that stuff, if you're watching this channel, stick around, watch us to the end. But also, go hit the like button. Give us a subscribe. Comment below on what we're doing. Give us your opinion on what the topic of this video is. All the other cool things you might want to talk about. Give us ideas. Share with, with, share with us what your interests are in the spirit world. And I don't mean Halloween, ghosts, and ghouls. I mean the liquor mm -hmm. spirit world. Like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, get the notifications for all of our upcoming live streams and events and things we're getting in, involved in and uh, help get grow this channel. Comments and shares are a big deal and we'd love to have all the comments, like, subscribe, comment, shares you can give us. If you're interested in really getting into this channel and helping us out, hit that join button right down here and become a member. Get uh, access to all of our extra member only videos, automatic extra entries in all of our live stream bourbon giveaways and all the extra little fun things that come along with being a member. You can hit that join button right there and explain all of it to you. And back to the bourbon and what our conversation is and tonight. And spirits. And everything. Yeah. And everything with the spirit world. So, Homer, we've been around quite a few people in the last year talking about bourbons. And met a lot of folks, yep. Met a lot of folks um, sitting in social groups. groups. And we're drinking. But there's been a lot of people that disagree with how you drink. And they're pretty, pretty, uh, what I, I said earlier, arguments. I, I don't think we get in arguments because I just like, mm, okay. You know, because I, I don't want to argue with anybody. I want to enjoy this. But a lot of people have a pretty strong stance on how you should drink bourbon whiskey. Um, and it's supposed to be high proof. And, and they, and I like the high proof. Which is because cool. Because I like the taste. I, I love the taste and the burn of alcohol. I've always been that way. Pour me a Coke and vodka. I have to taste the Coke. I don't want it. You, on the other hand, you're not. Well, that way. I mean, it's. it's you want to taste it. You want to. I don't need to taste the alcohol. No, you don't like. Tea. I like to taste the. The goodness and the, the flavors. The, the richness not, of it and what's in there. And not the, al the alcohol itself. itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't care what proof it is. You me, like personally. It. If Enjoy it's 130 it. proof and it has great flavors, it's not ethanol or alcohol then it's whatever yes and if it's 80 proof i don't care i like it for what it is and its taste but a lot of people in the bourbon world like to comment about if it's not 115 or higher then you're um, a, a, a pussy for drinking it i don't know if we're allowed to say that you're uh you don't know how to drink liquor you don't know how to you don't know how to enjoy it right and damn sure don't put it on a rock put put ice in it can't do that. Don't mix it. Um, you know, the what I find funniest is I love seeing people that lose their absolute freaking mind when someone posts a picture of Pappy and Coke together. And they're like, oh my God, why would you ruin it and waste it? I'm, yeah. If you like Pappy and Coke and that's what you enjoy, go Drink for it. it. Not my business. You know, the, um, I, the motto that I live by more than anything else, and I've, actually, I've kind of adapted it, is drink what you like. Mm-hmm. And I've kind of adapted it to drink what you like, how you like it. Because if you like it with Sprite, then I don't give a shit. I think that goes on anything in the world. If that is what you like, and that's how you want to be, and that's how you want to enjoy anything in life, you do it. We're not supposed to judge. And Go we're not, for it. And, and I don't know why people started thinking that their opinions, outside of being opinions that other people value just to get valid opinions or interests or ideas, really matter what the hell did someone else think doesn't matter i don't care um anywhere we go if somebody says oh that's not the way you're supposed to do bourbon or that's not how you're supposed to dress keep it to yourself just nod enjoy yourself so i can enjoy myself yeah 
But I guess, you know, you guys probably are going to look at this video and say, obviously someone pissed them off or hurt their feelings. No. I just think this is a good topic. I, I don't, I really could give a crap less what people think about how I drank this because I'm still drinking it on the rocks. I, that's one reason why this channel's on the rocks, Deck Night on the Rocks, because we do this on the deck and I prefer it on the rocks. She could go either way. But then again, each bourbon is different. Every one, and that's and some people that's the people that really kind of irritate me. Like, you can't drink, you got to drink it neat. I'm like, I kind of want to tell them, obviously, you don't pay attention to what you're drinking because some bourbons are better neat, some bourbons are better with a little water, some bourbons are better on the rocks, and some bourbons are better poured down the drain. Oh, I didn't hear that one coming, but yeah, it leads those to the ones that we think, and it goes. And I know that we're talking about bourbon, but it really just goes with life. There's all kinds of things going on now. And I don't care what you do. Do it. Enjoy it. Live life to the fullest. And don't include me in it. <laughs> just let me have a good time, too. Well, you don't have to. If you love about... your bourbon that way or you love doing that that way, you don't have to preach it on me. You don't have to say, well, you're wrong. Just you do you and I'll do me. I think they can include you in it. I just think they don't need to tell you, you should be doing it this way. I think it's cool when people say, hey, I'm doing this. I'm drinking this. What do you think about this? Yeah. And when I say, if I, if someone gets posted or someone posts something and says, hey, I'm drinking, um, I'm drinking Elijah Craig single barrel and I, I'm drinking it on the rocks, my comment would be, I like Elijah Craig. It's really good. That's single it. Single barrel is good stuff. And I, I prefer to drink it neat. But if you like it on the rocks, then good for you. That's how you should drink it. Yeah. But, you know, and, and I guess people are like, oh, you're just pan, you're, you're just kissing their ass, or you can't if you don't. You know, this country's getting soft, and you can't tell people how they feel because you're gonna hurt their feelings. I don't care about hurting their feelings. I just don't give it. I don't care. I, I I'm not trying to. I'm not. I'm not saying that I don't think you shouldn't hurt people's feelings. But I, when it comes to this, to bourbon, it's not that big a deal. No, but sometimes hurt feelings will make you a better person. <laughs> It's just, I, I guess, I, 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 it's two worlds. Like, yeah, there's a lot of times people need to feel hurt. There's a lot of times people need to be told they're wrong or stupid or that's just dumb. But this is a whole different world. This is an enjoyment world. world. I'm, we are here drinking this to sit down and to forget all that nonsense. Oh, to yeah. Forget all the bullshit, to just chill, get a little relaxed, and enjoy our company, whoever it may be, if it's one person or 20 people. We, 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 we recently went and had some people just wouldn't let things go and just kept on beating shit up and, and, and talking and, and, and over one up and fuckers and stuff. And it's like, dude, I'm here to enjoy the company and the bourbon and you're ruining it all. <laughs> I'm going to leave. And then there's <laughs> times that we get to go out and meet new people. We just went to um, a cool place that they introduced us to, which was... Where did we the go? The Gatlinburg Brewing Company. The Brewing Company. And <clears throat> Never met them before. And one of our one of our viewers that lives locally, not close, but locally, we did a swap. A, a swap. We did our uh, Ambarana. Tag it up here. The King's Family Ambarana video. They had the Penelope Rio, and I was like, "You want to trade a sample?" And they live close by, so we just met up, and he told us about they were they're going to be and. And had a good time. We had a very good time with them. And you never know what people are going to be. Um, these people, thankfully, they were just cool, cool people, did not care what we were doing, and we didn't care what they were doing, what they were drinking. It didn't have to be bourbon. There was a good conversation, and no, no, this, that, you do this, you need to do that, you should do this, you're doing that wrong. It was just a good time. And it a good was conversation. enjoyable. But then you also get on those people that you. So, Dustin and Sheila, if you're watching this, we had a great time. Thanks for <laughs> inviting us out. I wasn't going to put Well, names I'm not putting her last names to it. Okay. Be all right. So, and then there's also people that um, you're drinking along and they're like, why are, you, why are you mixing that? Why are you glad to do that? Why are you drinking it this way? Why are you doing that? But they're hateful. It's not yeah. more like, okay, because I'm always, I'm the first one to say, what you doing there? That's the way you like it. I just want to know what you're doing. Yeah. Well, like I, when explain we explain to me so I can learn. Maybe I'd like that. When we went over to uh, Dave's House Bourbon and then did a video with them, tag it up here, Drennan from I'm gonna fuck it up, Black and Barn Cigars. He called me out like fucking no, no one's business. Which about, I absolutely which love. Was, you know, he said, oh, "Do you even like bourbon?" Well, that was hilarious. Because you guys know Homer likes to. Uh, 
first time out, but he, it's funny, and then he just went on. But it was, but the way he did it, the way he talked about it, it was a joke, we all laughed, and you know, it was a good, but he, it wasn't like, do you, do you even like bourbon? You can't handle it? It was just a proof, you big pussy, you can't drink the proof on it, and this and that, it's like, and I straight up said that right there and there, it was a high proof, and proof doesn't agree with me, because I don't like the alcohol to be overpowering. I like to taste the notes and the palates, different things, and Amy's the other way. She enjoys that stuff too, but she likes it. She likes like to feel the burn. kick. I just think that this conversation here is about uh, just enjoy it, man. Enjoy what you enjoy. Drink what you like, the way you like it, and don't bother anybody else about it. And uh, Drennan, that wasn't against you. It was just saying well, that we enjoyed it. Pretty clear to say that I enjoyed it. It was funny. So there's ways of because if if he did piss me off, I wouldn't have said anything at all. Yes, remember that if you piss somebody off, they usually don't talk back, or they're getting a fight with you. If they're not talking about, shut up and say something nice. There's an ant trying to get into my bourbon. So this video is just about... Proof doesn't matter. Proof doesn't really matter. It's just the person is enjoying the spirit that they are enjoying. Let them enjoy. Yep. So what do you guys think? And, and, I, and I want you guys to tell me. Go ahead. and I know some of you. someone's going to say, you're a pussy. You don't like the proof. Go ahead. And you might be joking. You might be serious. You might be trolling. I don't care. Do what you need to do. For legit people that want to comment, tell me what you think about this. Do you prefer the proof? And do you think that anybody who drinks 93 proof Blanton's or 80 proof ancient age just should stick to tea? You know? Uh, maybe some tea plus that proof. Well, maybe. I don't know. So... Comment below. Tell me what you think about the idea of drink what you like, how you like it. Don't get on people's ass about they don't they don't want to drink hazmat bourbon every time they drink. Don't get on people's ass if they want to drink. I don't 80 want proof. to drink hazmat. I just like that burn. You know, like again, I'm gonna throw him out there. Dave from House Bourbon, he loves that high proof stuff, but he doesn't give me any crap. And you know, I don't give him crap for drinking that stuff. And you know, I guess you could say that you could be like, why are you drinking that? That is that's like fire. You're not even getting to enjoy it. Well, you know, but some, it's all I would about imagine the I would imagine that some people drink 140 proof, let's say Koi Hill, and and get a very enjoyable taste out of it. Doesn't burn them like it does me, yeah. and that's great. I'm glad they enjoy Everybody's it. Everybody's different. I liked the Koi Hill when when Dave brought it over and I tried it, but I didn't like the fact that it made me want to feel like my mouth was a flamethrower. You know, I wish I would have tried it. Again, comment below. Tell me what you guys think about proof and if it matters and should it matter and. People who don't like proof, should they just not play in this game? What do you think? I think everybody gets to play. Okay, I agree. You play however you want to play. That's a quick, hopefully, uh, you know, I always think these go quick, but whenever I hit stop, it's like 30, 45 minutes. So I hope this was quick, just to the point. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Comment below. We'd love to have 100 comments, and we always try to come reply to every comment best we can if uh it's worth replying to some of them are just so silly i just ignore them and then um i think those are the fun ones no they're not fun when they're just completely wow. stupid and then um hit the bell get notifications for our, we're gonna have a live stream coming up soon we give away bottles at our live streams and too uh, many yes we do because it costs a lot to ship but we give them away and uh, have a great time so hit that bell make sure you catch our live streams and just remember play in this world however you want to play you do it for you nobody else play but enjoy the company you're with because that's just as important as you don't want to sit on i mean you can again drink it how you like it the way you want to if you want to sit by yourself in your dark room and watch tv or just do nothing and drink it alone good for you do it how you want all Never. right this sums up for everything all right anything else i'm good just uh, play all right guys thanks for watching catch you next time Hit that bell, like, subscribe, comment, share. We're out. What's going on, alcohol fans, bourbon, liquor? bourbon whiskey i hate why the fuck do i fuck up words so bad what's up alcohol drinkers up oh, that sucks too